Sean Williamson, Sarah Harden, Sam Thompson, Derek Acora, Marissa Jade, Sandy Bogle, Chad Johnson, Helen Letterer, Catherick Negathan, Brandy Glanville, Jordan Davis, Trisha Paytas, Jumma Juicy, what? Oh, Jumma Lucy, <laughs> Amelia Lilly, and Paul Denan. These are the celebrity housemates going into this season, this series of Celebrity Big Brother 2017. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, um, I did not make a video about the finale of this, you know, past Big Brother. My bad. Congratulations to Isabel. Isabel, as we all know, was the winner. Raph was runner up. I said Raph was going to win. I thought he was going to win all season long. He did not win. Isabel won. Raph came uh, runner up. Deborah came second runner up. And um, Tom somehow got fourth. And um, yeah, it was a good. It was a good finale week. You know, the tasks were emotional and nice and funny. The whole wedding thing was funny. But we're here to talk about Celebrity Big Brother. So let's do that. The first housemate that we saw, first of all, hold on. Before that, we did not even get a tour. I thought Emma was going to open the show. Okay, we're inside the house. Here's the tour, blah, blah, blah. No, none of that happened. We did not get a tour. Did we get a tour? We did not get a tour from Emma. So I refer to Lindsay and Gaz's Twitter. We all know Lindsay and Gaz from Big Brother on Blast. They had the opportunity to go inside the house before any of the housemates even went inside the house. They went inside the house. They got a tour from fucking Rylan. Rylan gave them a tour. Like, so jealous. In there we saw the new bedrooms, you know, the new... I don't know the names of the bedrooms, but the new Thorn Cottage and the new Rose Cottage. Um, we saw the new kitchen, the new living room area, and the storeroom. Yeah, and the storeroom. It's... Kind of looks, it kind of looks the same as, um, you know, this past season of Big Brother. But, you know, it's the same skeleton. The architecture is all the same. They haven't, like, renovated anything. But they painted, they've redecorated. But they didn't, like, tear anything down and, like, build anything back up. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, the housemates. The first housemate to go in was Sean Williamson. Sean is an actor from the UK. He played Barry on EastEnders. No idea what that is. Uh, he said he played that role for 10 years. Then one day they called him and told him that his character was going to die off. Um, he said that since then he's been on other reality shows and he's won them all. So maybe he'll win this one too. Probably not, but maybe. He was pretty boring, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. He came out and I was like, just, I went to my phone immediately and I started like playing games and stuff. He, you know, boring guy, middle-aged guy. I mean, wh what else can I say? He came out to a lot of cheers. Emma said that he's been on bots 12 times, or he says that he's been on bots 12 times, so he's, he's probably more famous from being on bots. No, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Um, I don't know. I don't know who he is, so. Can someone tell me, though, what kind of show is EastEnders? Is it a, like, sitcom? Is it a sitcom? Is it, like, a soap show? Is soap a drama? Is it, like... I don't know what kind of show is EastEnders. I don't know what kind of show that is. So he goes in the house and immediately, he immediately gets called into the diary room by Big Brother. Big Brother has a secret task for Sean. He must act nervous um, at all times. And the more housemates that come in, he has to act more and more and more and more uh, nervous. And he has to be believable with this. If he passes, he gets an award. If he fails, he gets some kind of punishment. But we don't know what the reward is. We don't know what the punishment is yet. The next housemate is Sarah Harding. Um, she's from Girls Aloud, which is, I guess, a band, a group, a singing band. Um, she came out, what can I say? She's pretty, she's nice, she seems likable, very normal. Emma seemed to like her, the crowd liked her. Uh, she goes in and Big Brother tells Sean, he has the earpiece in now, Big Brother tells Sean through the earpiece, to go to her to get her to sing one of her songs to him. And they start rushing him. They're like, Sean, we need you to do this now. Sean, get her to sing that song immediately. Sean, we need it now. Sean. I was like, oh my God, like chill, big brother. I kind of felt bad for Sean. I was like, he just wants to go in there and like mingle and, you know, be nice to everyone. And then he has to like do all these fucking kooky tasks. So then Sam Thompson is a next housemate. He is from Made in Chelsea. I have seen Made in Chelsea. I have seen Made in Chelsea. I watched like the first few seasons actually of Made in Chelsea, but I do not remember 
Sam Thompson. I haven't watched it in years. I have not watched Made in Chelsea in years. I don't know if it's still on. Anyway, yeah, I don't know who the fuck uh, he is, but I mean, it's a cute little, you know, boy. <laughs> he seems like a douchebag, kind of, from his VT. Everyone's VT, by the way, spoiler alert, everyone's VT sucks. I didn't like anyone's VT. They all seem like assholes in their VT, but so did Raph, and look what happened to Raph. You know what I'm saying? He reminds me of Tom from last season. A posher version of Tom because he's from Chelsea, right? And Chelsea's like super posh, right? So, you know, he gets down there, he's talking to Emma, and he will not look Emma in the fucking eye. Emma is talking to him, like, Emma's like right here next to him, and he's just like looking everywhere else. So he goes in the house. Meanwhile, Sean is in there. He's not acting nervous at all. The fourth housemate is Derek Okora. I'm sorry if I'm saying anyone's name wrong. I don't know these people. Sorry. My bad. Derek Okora. He is a psychic medium. A fake fucking psychic medium. Um, they showed some footage from his show. And I guess he does exorcisms and all this stuff. I was like, what? <laughs> what? what, it, what? I mean, I know none of these uh, celebrities are like super famous. I know that. But he seems like he's really at the bottom of the totem pole for celebrities. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm really not. But So, um, he comes out. He got a lot of booze. Um, I can already see the task they're going to give him. I can already see the secret task. Sean, go to all the housemates and convince them that you just saw a ghost in the kitchen. If you pass, you get a fucking party. If you fail, then you have to go, I don't know, sleep outside for a week. I don't know. So yeah, he goes in and then Big Brother cuts back to Sean. They were asking Sean to do a lot of shit. I was like, it was like four things. Just for, just for Sean, he had to start shaking uncontrollably, get him to shake his hand, hug him for a long time, and then ask for him to call upon a, a spirit guide. I was like, that's a lot, that's a lot of shit, big brother, come on now. And they were like, do it immediately, Sean, do it immediately, we need you to do this right now, Sean, Sean, do this immediately. So the next housemate is Marissa Jade, and she's American, yeah, she's the first American housemate this season. She's from Mob Wives, the only Mob Wife that was ever really in pop culture was Big Ange. We know Big Ange, she died a couple of years ago from, she had a whole bunch, she had like four, she had a bunch of types of different cancers and, you know, it just got her eventually. So, and then we had um, Renee on the season where Bear, Celebrity Big Brother with Bear, where Bear won. So we got another Mob Wives. I like the Mob, I like, I mean, I, I like her, don't get me wrong, but again, I hated her VT. It's very, oh, I'm a bad bitch and I'm... I'm a sexy MILF, and I'm just like, girl, just, first of all, you're not a fucking mob wife. None of, no one, if you're a mob wife, you aren't coming on TV saying, oh, yeah, my husband's in the mob. Why would you, <laughs> like, you're not, you're not turning yourself into the, the feds. You, you're not going on TV saying, yes, my husband um, kills a whole bunch of people, and um, he's a gangster, and, you know, illegal money laundering and all this stuff. Yeah, that's my husband. I'm a mob wife. <laughs> No, you're not doing that. So you're not a fucking mob wife. So yeah, I think I'll like her. She walks in the house and um, the Made in Chelsea guy was like, you look just like Selena Gomez or something like that. And you know she fucking loved that comment. She kind of does look like Selena Gomez, but you know she was like, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so the next housemate is Sandy Bogle. I hope I'm saying her name right. She is an actress, I think. She's known for being on the show called Gogglebox. I almost said Google, Google Box. What kind of show is this? Is this, Again, is this a sitcom? Is it a drama? Is it a soap? She said that she won an award for her, this show. So in her VT, you know, she's talking blah blah blah. Then she, she comes out in this like yoga mom outfit thing and she starts like twerking on the ground and starts like shaking her ass and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, like you seem a little bit too old to be doing all that, but okay. Then there's a shot of Lindsay and Gaz in the audience. So I was like, oh my God, Lindsay and Gaz. <laughs> you know, she's talking to Emma. She starts walking up and to go into the stairs and she's like, I love you, I love you. I love you to all everyone in the audience. I love you, I love you. I think she sees her daughter. And she's like, oh, I love you, I love you. And she starts walking up the stairs. And she's like, I love you, 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 I love you. She gets to the top of the stairs. <laughs> she's like, I love you. Emma, I love you, Emma. 
<laughs> she's like, I love you, I love you, I love you. She like takes two steps. She's like, I love you, 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 I love you. She takes another step. I love you, I love you, I love you. She finally goes in the fucking house. She said, I love you like a thousand fucking times to every, I think she said I love you to everyone in the audience individually so the next housemate is chad johnson he is also an american he is our second american so far he was one of the bachelors the eligible bachelors on bachelorette i don't i've never seen bachelor or bachelorette i don't know who the girl was that he was trying to win i don't know that show is fucking crazy at the end of that show they have to get married to each other they have to propose to each other so anyway yeah chad johnson he walks in or his VT sucked. He, you know, steroid, roided up, you know, lean meats, high protein, high carb or low carb. I don't fucking know. Whatever. He looks like a, a porn star. <laughs> he looks like a Brazzers porn star. Fucking Sean Cody. Some Sean Cody porn star. I'm sure he's not as bad as he is in his VT. In his VT, he says that on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate myself at a 200. And I'm like, like, why wouldn't you say a thousand? Why stop at two hundred? I'm sure he'll be not as bad in the house. So far, I can't. I do for some. I like him for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because he's. He seems like he genuinely has never watched Big Brother before, and he says he hasn't. And I believe him. Unlike Kieran, who said he had never watched, I actually believe Sean and I or Chad. And I think it's because he's American. He probably hasn't ever watched Big Brother before. There's something about him that I like. He he seems nice. Dare I say it? He actually kind of seems nice. I'm going off the live feed footage too, and we'll get to that later. But so you know, we cut back to Sean, and he's still getting fed things in his ear. His next part of the task is that he has to get Chad to rub his chin. Eventually, he does it. He's like, "Oh, I'm so nervous. Like, here, Chad. Like, feel the tension in my chin. Feel the tension in my chin." So Chad like rubs his chin, and he's like, "Okay." So anyway, uh, da, 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 da. he was like talking to someone else. So the next housemate is Helen Letterer. She is an actress. She's in the show called Absolutely Fabulous, or was in the show called Absolutely Fabulous. She's a comedian. She keeps telling jokes in her VT. I get the jokes, but I'm just like, they're not funny, girl. I like her eyes. She has really cool eyes. <laughs> so she comes out. Um, her and Emma have this like weird banter. I guess Emma's like a huge fan. She's like fangirling, kind of. So the next housemate is Catherine. Negathan. What a fucking name is that? Catherine Negathan. Now that's a name. Hi, my name is Catherine Negathan. It rolls off the tongue really well, doesn't it? Catherine Negathan. He has a unibrow. That's all I could keep looking at was his unibrow. Um, I think he said he was from The Apprentice. Unibrow, unibrow, unibrow. That's just all I could remember about him was that his unibrow. Um, he said that his unibrow once had its own Twitter and at one time it even had more followers than he did. And they kept showing this guy, I forgot to mention, when the mob wife went in, they kept showing this guy in the audience. I was like, who is this guy? The mob wife guy, she said that she was a MILF. So I'm like, either that's her son, this guy that they kept showing, either that's the mob wife's son, or her boyfriend, or her husband, or her gay best friend, or something. Like, I didn't know who this guy was. So, you know, on Twitter, it came out that he was... Um, on Big Brother Series 13, I think. Um, I forgot his name. My bad. They showed him again with this Catholic Negathan guy. They kept showing him. I, I don't know who... I don't know why they kept showing him. He's good looking, don't get me wrong. I wasn't mad that they kept showing him, but I was just like, who is he though? That unibrow has got to go. Hopefully there's some type of task where they ha where he has to wax his fucking unibrow or shave his unibrow. I doubt he'll shave it though. Like if it does come down to that, if it, if there is a task where he has to like shave his unibrow or wax his unibrow off, I, he probably won't do it because he'll probably be like, no, this is my brand. Like this is a part of who I am. Blah 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 blah. Emma, she like wants to pet his fucking caterpillar. She's like, can I pet it? So he, <laughs> she's like, oh, it's so soft, <laughs> so weird. So he goes in the house. And he's like introducing himself to everyone. He's like, yeah, I'm a big IT guy. I've, I've been Googling everyone. He said that he's been Googling everyone. And I'm like, how did the fuck did you know? First of all, aren't you supposed to be in hiding? Like you're not supposed to even have internet. 
Second of all, how did you even know the list of the names of the people going into the house to be Googling them in the first fucking place? Very weird. Very weird. The next housemate is Brandy Glanville from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Finally, someone I fucking recognize. The 10th housemate. <laughs> it took 10 housemates. I have watched uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I've watched the early seasons. I don't watch any more. I haven't watched in a couple of years. But I did watch and I... That's one of my favorite uh, Real Housewives franchises is the Beverly Hills one. They are the most rich. They have the most money because they're fucking in Beverly Hills. Let's let's be real. Those bitches are rich as fuck. Brandy Glanville, she was like on the show, but she was never a housewife. <laughs> she was never a housewife, even though she was on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She was um, always the fun younger friend of all of the other housewives. And they would always go to her to like party and to have fun and like... Ooh, you're so spicy. Like, you know what I mean? She was the fun single girl um, of them. So yeah, she was fun on the show on Beverly Hills Housewives. She was fun, sassy, you know what I mean? No nonsense. She says it like she means it. She'll cuss a bitch out in 2.5 seconds. Very good choice. Very, very, very good choice for uh, Celebrity Big Brother. She's gonna be she's gonna be a big character. She actually also has her own podcast. Can't remember what it's called, but I did listen to a few episodes, but there was too many ads. I had to unsubscribe, girl. Too many fucking ads in those podcasts. Too many, like way too many ads. And one of the episodes that I listened to had she had on Callum Best, who was actually, you know, from Celebrity Big Brother, whatever the fuck season, and then he came back with his mom. Um, this, for the second time she had him on and they were talking about a show that they they were both on together Brandy and Callum were both on a whole different show I can't remember what the show was called did I write it down I don't know what the show that they were both on was called but they were talking about you know their time together on that show so I thought that was pretty interesting I wonder if he had something to do with her being on the show you know what I'm saying yeah so Brandy Glanville she used to be married to this actor a D-list actor that you might know his face but you, if you you're not going to know who the fuck his name is. His name is Eddie Sebrian. He's very fucking hot. Very good looking guy. Apparently he was stepping out on Brandy. He was cheating on Brandy with Leanne Rhimes. And I know y'all know who Leanne Rhimes was. Can't stop the moonlight deep in the dark. In the moonlight. And you know, and you know that you can't stop the moonlight. So her whole tale, her whole like story on, uh, Real Housewives is that she was dumped by Eddie Sebrian and Leanne Rhimes is this major bitch because now Leanne Rhimes wants to hang out with Brandy and his kids all the time and it's like that's her whole kind of claim to fame, Brandy Glenville. Anyway, I do like her. I, I've always liked her. So she goes in and you know we cut back to Sean. Sean, the next part of your secret mission is that you have to get Brandy to pour a glass of cold water all over your head or some shit like that. So he's, you know, pacing around. Big Brother's like, Sean, you must do this immediately. Sean, do it right fucking now. Sean, get Brandy to pour this water all over your head. So he, I forgot what he says, but he's like, you know, I'm, I'm, it's hot in here. Brandy, can you just like pour this water? <laughs> so he basically was the one to pour the water, but... She's holding the cup or whatever. So he pours out a little bit of water. He's like, thank you. It was so hot. She's like, she's like, yeah, I know. Um, are you okay? I could blow on you if you want, but my breath is just so bad right now <laughs> or some shit like that. Big Brother gets back on and gets back into his ear and Big Brother's like, Sean, that wasn't good enough. We need more water. Pour the rest of the water out. She needs to pour all the water out on your head. Sean, we need you to do it immediately, Sean. You don't want to lose. Sean, you don't want to lose. So the next housemate is Jordan Davis. Jordan fucking Davis. Jordan Davis is from a show called Ibiza Weekender. And apparently that is the same show that Ellie, <laughs> that from, from this past season, Ellie was also from that show. And somehow Jordan Davis, um, Gaz and Lindsay were talking about this in their podcast last night. They said that it's not really fair, you know, that it's, it's how is he considered a celebrity from being on Ibiza Weekender when Ellie was just on that show too and she was on the civilian version. It's, you know, it's not really, it ain't really right. Some ain't, some, something's not right. Something's not right. His VT is the worst one out of all everyone's. It's even worse than Chad Johnson's. He's just really douchebaggy. Just a terrible person. <laughs> he seems like a terrible, terrible human being from his VT. Apparently he has slept with more than 1,000 
500 women. We thought we thought Kieran was bad with his 350. This guy says that he has slept with 1,000. I'm like, how? With the same thing with Kieran. How can you even count to that? How do you even quantify, you know, past like 100, past like 50, really? How can you even keep track anymore? How can you keep track of 1,500 women? There's no way you slept with... So he's lying. He's probably deeply in the closet. He's probably a raging homosexual, deeply in the closet. When someone is like, oh yeah, I like women, women, is the whole house just going to be women so I can just have sex with all these women? I'm like, you're gay. You're gay. You're trying too hard to, to, to do... You're trying too hard to prove that you're not gay and it's not working. You're probably a fucking homosexual. So he goes in the house and he knows the blonde, Sam Thompson. He knows Sam Thompson. It's Tom and Karen all over again. They're all over each other, literally. And, and then Sam goes, hey, mate, can we, like, sleep in the same bed tonight? <laughs> and I'm like, it's Tom and Karen all over again. Like, the blonde and the brunette, asshole one, asshole two, questionable, maybe possibly homosexual, Karen and Tom all over again. Oh, and Jordan Davis also, he is the ex of Megan McKenna, who we know from, was she celebrity big brother, Megan McKenna? Yes, she was a celebrity. I had to, like, really think about that. Yeah, she was on Celebrity Brother. The one with Stephanie Davis and Jeremy. But yeah, that's his ex. Apparently, they're not together anymore. They don't like each other anymore. They're, like, enemies or something. I don't fucking know. They probably still fuck on the side. Who knows? Who cares? So the next housemate is Trisha Paytas. Or if you're Shane Dawson, he calls her Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas is a YouTuber from LA. I think she was like born and raised in, in LA. She's a YouTuber, YouTube queen, clickbait queen. She's kind of slightly a troll. Like she knows what's going to get her views on YouTube. The videos that she kind of makes are, she really likes to expose herself, not just physically, but like she's really raw, really open in her videos. You know what I mean? Like she'll go on a date with some guy. Then the next day she'll come back and like spill all the tea on her date. If the guy was an asshole, what they did on the date, the stuff they talked about. <laughs> like she's a vlogger. Uh, you know, uh, uh, she's a vlogger. She, she captures her life in video form and puts it on the internet. That's what she is. She's a YouTuber and she's good friends with Shane Dawson. She's good friends with Gigi, Gor Gigi Gorgeous and Drew Monson and that whole side of YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, she literally is YouTube royalty. Everyone on YouTube knows who the fuck Trisha Paytas is. She's my winner. I want her to win. Well, right now, she's my winner. I think she's going to go very far. I can already see the, the British general public being an, an, an asshole towards her. Because she comes out, you know, she's curvy, she's barely wearing any clothes, and she's bubbly and giggly and like really valley girl she's really 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 valley girl american and so i can see the 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 general british public if they don't know who she is just hating her and just dogging her out but i think by the end of the week everyone is going to be loving them some trisha <laughs> the next housemate is Gemma lucy um she's a tattoo model and a reality star i don't know what fucking show she didn't say the name of the show that she's a reality star from but she's a tattoo model and a reality star um and she's bisexual whoa whoa a bisexual it's a shame it's a shame about her because you know what she really does have a pretty face she kind of looks like jesse J a a little bit she was giving me jesse J vibes she's a pretty face yes her lips are botched but what are you gonna do and then you get to like here and it's just ugly fucking neck tattoos and an ugly chest tattoo and I'm like why did you do that to yourself she's like actually was pretty you know what I mean she has a pretty face nice boobs a nice body why would you fucking ruin your neck and your chest with those ugly fucking tat and I don't mind a neck tattoo it's not that but it was just like the Jeremy McConnell neck tattoo where it's like the full you might as well just fucking tattoo your whole neck black. You might as well, because there's no art. You can't see any art in there. And the same thing with her chest. It's just black. It looks like she has a fucking furry chest. So she goes in the house, and she knows the Ibiza guy. The guy, the Jordan Davis. She knows him somehow. I don't know how, but she knows him. So the next housemate is Paul Denan. He is an actor from Hollyoaks. Um... And he plays, I think he plays this bad boy like character. And that's kind of what he was giving me in the VT. Like he's 
a, a, a used to be Playboy or a used to be Lothario kind of guy. He comes out wearing this fucking Harajuku Japanese Tokyo fucking inspired cut like four piece suit thing. I was like, what is this? He seems nice. He seems sweet. You know, a ladies man. I think that's his whole thing is that he's a ladies man. Maybe he used to be a bad boy back in the day, but he's he's reeled it in now because he has like a family and like kids and stuff. He'll probably go far whatever so he goes in the house and everyone i think he's really famous because he went into the house and everyone was like paul paul they all knew who he was they all knew who he was so he must be very well known in the uk so that's all the housemates that's all 15 of the housemates i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna know who more of the housemates were i only know who two of them were and they were two americans they all seem <laughs> What can I say? They all seem nice, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, no one is really striking me as like a bitch or like an evil villain character, except for Brandy. If I'm being honest, I think Brandy is going to be the biggest bitch in the house. Anyway, so Sean. Sean is still on the secret mission. Big Brother is still in his ear telling him to do things. His next part of the task is that he has to find a housemate and he has to make them be his rock in the house his emotional rock because remember he's all nervous he's he's nervous and so he has to find someone to be his rock and this person cannot leave his side he cannot leave their side so he gets told this but he can't really hear he's like what the fuck what'd you say so he's like walking around being super obvious by the way too that he's on a secret mission and that he has a microphone in his ear because he keeps leaving the crowd and like walking away and like has his head down and it's like it, it just looks like he has a microphone in his ear and that he's being told that he's on a secret mission. He's like, what? I can't hear you. Like, <laughs> I can't fucking hear And I couldn't hear either. Like, I could not hear what Big Brother was saying either. I mean, there's 15 people in the house. They're all excited. They're all getting drunk and they're all raising their voice. So then we get back to Sean. He picks Sandy to be his rock in the house. And then Big Brother gets back in his ear and, and they're like, okay, Sean, in a, in, in a couple of seconds, we're going to open the gates to the garden. You know, there's going to be all this party stuff out there. There's going to be, I guess, more alcohol and, I don't know, party stuff out there. Um, but you cannot go out there because you're still nervous and your rock also has to stay with you because, you know, you have to be like this with your rock. You have to keep Sandy inside while everyone else goes outside. And so, sure enough, Big Brother opens the gates to the garden. And everyone's like, oh, shit, like the garden's open. There's stuff out there. Let's go outside. So they all kind of start going towards the door. Then Sean, this this was pretty good. Sean was like telling Sandy, like, wait, wait, Sandy, wait, wait, like I need you, wait. So then Sandy starts going, wait, guys, wait, 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 guys. I thought she was going to be like, guys, Sean has something to say, like, listen to Sean real quick. But no, she was just saying, wait, telling the housemates to wait because apparently the light above the door was still red and like she was telling them to wait to open the door until it turns green. That's what she was saying wait for. She wasn't telling them to wait for Sean, she was just saying, it was it was weird how it all worked out like that, but it was like really good timing. So they all, you know, they all go outside and Sean's like, Sandy, like, wait, I need you. I'm like having a panic attack. And he starts having this fake panic attack and she's like <laughs> fanning him and stuff, trying to help him out. She seems so nice. Sandy seems so fucking nice. And Brandy also is coming across really nice because First, there was this, like, praying mantis in the house, and she, like, saves the praying mantis, and she takes the praying mantis outside. Then she comes back inside to check on Sean, and she's like, Sean, are you okay? I was like, oh my god, that's so nice. She came back. She could have been out there partying with all the people, but she came back to check on Sean, and I was like, oh my god, that's so nice of her. So yeah, okay, live feed. I didn't take any notes from the live feed, but basically from the live feed, we see that Trisha was the main star of the live feed. She got, like, three different moments of live feed time she's talking to sandy and she's like trying to figure out who the most famous person is in the house she's like are you famous like okay so like who's the most famous and sandy's like <laughs> sandy's like i mean we're all pretty famous i mean all of us are we're all famous and patricia's like okay but who's the most famous though like she's an american she doesn't know who the fuck these people are she just wants to know like i'm right there with her like she just wants to know who the most famous person is I don't fucking know. I guess... I mean, I would say it would be Paul Denan because everyone knew who he was. So then Trisha starts talking to Paul Denan and I guess Paul Denan lies and says that he was on Game of Thrones or something and Trisha's totally buying it. 
She's like, you won Game of Thrones? Oh my god, I guess she... <laughs> and we also see some of uh, Chad, Chad Johnson. We also get to see some of him uh, live from the house. And he's talking with the boys. And they're all like, yeah, we love your accent. And he's like, I have an accent? They're like, yeah, you're American. You have an accent, dude. Uh. Tonight's episode, we're going to see what exactly happened with this whole Sean secret task situation. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the season. Hopefully Trisha goes far. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching.